Greetings, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. Sometimes you just get blessed, and it's when you aren't recording. And I like to say to my uh, subscribers, record everything, even if you hate this channel, even if you hate all YouTube channel, even if you want nothing to do with any content creator, just record it for yourself. Then, no matter what, you'll have record of it. I now have record that I got the six star awakening gym I just used this month on the only featured champion at the time of recording this that's been released and that is our teenage mutant our warhead herself and uh, I didn't have of course any of these left until I opened this and then suddenly I had it back so these are the max sig crystals that I opened thanks to just some six star basic crystals so the early access bundles allowed me to have a chance to open up these crystals. And uh, that's because I don't go for featured crystals now. I go for basic crystals. And so I save 5,000 or I guess at least 1,000 if you're talking about the black ISO market uh, shards per crystal. And that adds up to a lot more six stars and then I've actually loaded 10 that I'm saving for the next uh, crystal opening that involves trying to get a seven star. Now, if you missed it, the results were hilarious. Um, how I keep landing on this champion, I'll never know. But I think the biggest takeaway from all of this is that now the six star basic crystal with how many shards are out there with Valiant crystals is going to be I mean, you don't open a five-star basic with four-star shards because the worst you can do is five-star. So you're about to see this happen a lot more. You're about to see a lot more people get six-star awakening gems and seven-star shards because we are going to be, with Valiant Crystals, taking six-stars to max sig maybe even faster than we did with five-stars because Kabam Mike came out and said something that I, I thought was actually pretty accurate in his justification for the 15,000 price tag of seven star basic crystals after the first couple introductory of 10,000. And that was that the economy of the game, yes, that famous phrase, I didn't make it up. I just started mocking Kabam and then decided to use it and then got mocked myself and thought, might as well lean into this meme. Uh, the economy of the game is such that whenever the stars rise, the tides change, and so too do it, the Max Sig Crystals. And whoever thought of Max Sig Crystals in the first place deserves a raise at Kabam. Because for a long time, when you got a Max Sig Champion, you just got ISO and a little bit of gold, and that was it. It was a huge disappointment to land on a champion that was at Max Sig. It, you were being punished for it. And then one day, out of the heavens, Kabam says, not only were we not going to punish you, you're actually going to be rewarded because now you won't just get double the crystal shards, which also reminds me when I started playing this game, crystal shards didn't exist. If you wanted to get a crystal, you had to get the whole crystal right then and spend the money. Microtransactions and crystal shards and everything else to become a thing. But this is going to happen more and more. I still have, even if I choose not to do the side quest this month, then I don't know if I'm going to finish off the way they want or not. I'm going to have to kind of backtrack. I have 15 generic six-star awakening gems. And I'm now getting, I just got, this is the second six-star class-based Awakening Gym I pulled from Max Sig Crystal in the last two weeks. So, I'm not saying it's going to rain these or anything, but I'm opening more Max Sig Crystals than ever before, thanks to Valiant Crystals. And I know this is especially true, because that was uh, what happened with me in Omega Days. And I opened so many five-stars, mostly five-stars, but because they weren't four-stars, I got to open... I think at least one, if not two more seven stars than I would have. So this is also the danger for Kabam because the last time this happened, they started bringing up the next star. In that case, it was seven star crystals. We do not want to have even a muttering mention of eight stars for I think at least a couple more years. So uh, just enjoy the fact that we'll get more six star awakening gems now, especially with Maxig crystals, Valiant crystals. For those of you, and I know a lot of people watching this aren't Valiant yet or maybe even Paragon. But once you get access to those, you're going to be opening a lot more 7 stars and a lot more 6 star awakening gems. 